others like the jackfruit, fluted pumpkins, and dragon fruit Hey, girls, do you like this place? Number of lesser known tropical Good. Plants. Many of these are exceptionally high in vitamins and nutrients. Others are well Talk to me, girl, what'd you say? Michaela, what'd you say? With its edible seed, you want to get out? The poorest soil conditions of Africa. Making these are all real. Yes, they are. What's real? I'm going to show you in just a moment. He's actually a member of the cactus family. Antioxidants that have a light, sweet taste. As we learn more about these plants, we discover new ways they can help us meet our food needs. One day, some of these may be as popular as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Michaela, you can jump out and grab some bananas. We mentioned farming. Hey, gra Probably jump out and grab us some bananas, fish, girl. But fish farming, or aquaculture, what kind of an alligator was it? Hey, look at me. What kind? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Alligator, alligator. It was an American alligator. You knew that? Hey, do you like this ride? Yeah. Michaela. Hey, Michaela. Yeah, look at those lemons. Jump out. Hey, Michaela. These plants are Michaela. definitely on their way Yo, Michaela. Vertical growing systems like ours increases airflow. Through Jump out and get us some lemons, girl. <laughs> Diseases and pests are two of the biggest challenges faced by farmers around the world. Innovative growing to manage pest problems is another technique we're using. We're also growing plants using our novel nutrient film system. By recycling water and nutrients, the system can save farmers money and help protect the environment. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally 2,000 tomatoes. Much of There's the, the old tomato tree right there. Houses ...is served in the restaurants here at the land. I like all kinds of fruits and vegetables. And oh, I hate. The future of agriculture includes some high flying ideas like. Cucumbers are barf bag, girl. They are barf bag. Hey, look at me. In our lab, scientists from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, smaller trees will be easier to grow and harvest. The goal of all these experiments is to discover new ways. Yeah, you get all kinds of fresh produce. Harshest environment. Insect-free, by the way. One day, we might. And they don't use a lot of chemicals either. Extended space flights. These greenhouses represent just a tiny fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvest. You guys keep walking. I'll catch up to you. Yep, that's where we're heading now. Good old spaceship Earth. Good old spaceship Earth. Hey, hey girls, girls. Did you come over here to ride or eat? That's what I thought. What's your favorite ride? Space Mountain. Space Mountain? I love Space Mountain. What are you doing, huh? <laughs> hey, Courtney. I thought I saw those jaws going. You're still eating, aren't you? Chocolate. We're going to have to get that girl something to eat. I eat a lot, don't I? She eats too much. Her lunch box has got enough food for two people. It does? Food for four people? Four and I eat it all. Well, that's good then. I'm going to come over and help you share your lunch box. I don't know where you put it at. Quarter? And then when she's done with it, she says, I'm hungry. She has a high metabolism.
that had one of these What do you mean? I'm not gay. Looks like an end. Well, I didn't know they were taking my picture. <laughs> I would have smiled. Well, you wear the pink outfit. Well, that's because you picked it. Make every day Earth Day. Good old Jiminy Cricket. Looks like they're gonna do this. Looks like they're gonna save a tree or two. She's in her own world. The big one. I guess what the girls are going to do is use some recycled paper. Is that what you're going to do? Wendy can hardly wait to get that recycled paper. I guess that unit right there recycles the paper. Okay, first she does the slow dip. I'm not sure what that's doing. Oh, that's tree pulp. The onlookers watch with breathless anticipation. Yeah, you take wood chips and, and just keep uh, putting them in water and, uh, I don't know, am I close? so close, you can almost taste that apple pie, oh God. Well, let me tell you, it tastes sweet. <laughs> Actually, you boil it for 10 days. After you boil it for 10 days, it turns into fire. Well, that's it. You have to put it in water. I didn't know you had to apply heat. Yeah. Bring it over. Oh, very good. Now, what you're going to do is nice and straight to the pie for me, all right? You roll it, Bobby. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Move them, move them, move them. Though they're disapproving, keep those doggies moving. Wow, it's a lot of holding that you did, girl. Give me a little favor now. Feel that off. All right, I take your something. So wet. Right over here. Princess, this is yours. Congratulations. And then let it drive. All right, good hands. The dude has it down to a science. Open it up all the way. So, are you from Michigan too? Where are you from? Florida. Locals. Florida. Haines City. Haines City. Man, somebody's pounding away back there. Sounds like they're building a mansion. Here, put it up there, Wendy, and show me what she stamped. Show me what she stamped. Okay, All right, I gotta get it. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. Just 
to prove it. Keep the doggies moving. Every expense spared for entertainment. Hey, you guys, you guys ready to roll? Oh no, she has to wait on her. No time. Okay, that's where we're heading next. Test track. In fact, straight ahead, Wendy, test track. We'll go see if we can get on that ride. Here, back up a little bit. That's too close. You just sent it out of focus. Okay, I got it. Go catch up with them. I'll be right behind you. No, thank you, but I just want to know, you're eating again? Man, I'll tell you what, this girl just continues to slam it down. Uh, maybe I will have some popcorn. Wendy, did you bring napkins? Thank you. I guess I need some popcorn too. Look at that. A sign of the time. A woman and her phone. She cannot live without it. You got that right, that girl and her food. Are you gonna want lunch too? Look at little Michaela up there. Well, I guess we're leaving. Looks like Courtney's going to do a little, uh, a little fountain. Just don't get wet.
are you aren't getting wet, are you, girl? Well, this DVD is just about full. I'll have to be putting on a new one here in a minute. Uh, kids can have fun doing anything. Look at these chicks go! Say what? What are they doing? Trying to keep the water from coming out? They sure are. Oh, in this area. The chick loves her mist. She said, oh, a mist area. And the old monorail coming right through Epcot. All right, now they're getting dressed for... You know, it's not that cold today, really, Wendy. It really isn't you know that what? cold. Pass, pass the bathroom. Yeah, I know. Seriously. Hey, actually, I got to be honest with you. I thought uh, I thought you uh, fell in. Well, I'm ready to I thought she pulled a Misha on me and had to clean him. I don't get wet. Will this thing never fill up? Hey, let's go over to the land and ride Soarin' Over America. Right directly behind you. You girls lead on, I'll be right behind you. What do you think, Wendy? You haven't tasted it yet? Is that nasty? What'd you get? What kind? These girls love their foreign soda. She's having a little china right now. How is it? All it is is a de decomposed sake. Do you like it, Michaela? You better believe it. If it's free, Wendy's going to get her fill. She knows a bargain when she sees it. Hey girl, how many of those do you have? Yes, go for it, girls. They're feeding the birds. I'm surprised mom isn't out there helping. How come you're not out there helping, girl? Huh? I don't care. You don't care? Wendy says, I know exactly what it is. She's saying, we're not supposed to feed the wildlife. They're supposed to feed us. That's right. And they're wasting popcorn. 
They're wasting good popcorn. You got it. Oh man, you have that is such lovely, wonderful, funky hair. Hey, you girls want to go ride some rides? Let's go do it, girls. Now you may think that those chicks are going to ride this ride. Ixnay, all they're doing is getting a signature on their paper from a Disney employee that says that they showed up at this venue. The old universe of energy. All right, there they go to make it official. They have made it over to Universe of Energy. What did they learn? Subterfuge is what they learned. But we won't tell the teacher. Will we, Wendy? No. Uh, we're not going to tell the teacher, right? I don't know. We might if they don't keep their rooms Say, she says, oh yes, I'll be happy to sign it for you girls. Did you enjoy the attraction? We loved it. Mackenzie, Mackenzie, what are you picking back there? Get one and show me. Okay. You said you found corn? Yes, corn. What'd corn. she find, Brooke? Would she, how could she find Where corn? Here? Courtney. Uh, I mean, Courtney, your mom's Brooke, right? Yeah, I got confused. It's corn. It's corn. No, 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 don't put it up too close. Now, let me crack it like you did and show me inside. <laughs> I can't break this one, okay? Look at that. That girl found corn. We don't have to go to a restaurant. We can pick a few more of those, find some hot water, and cook them up. <laughs> right, Courtney? I'm bringing home for, for seven years. What? I'm bringing home for seven years. No, we have the fast passes. And there's Wendy. She just got back from getting fast passes for Mission Space. Now it's back to World Showcase. I have my own pen. What is that? Your own pen? It's a lips. A lips. Ooh, that is cool. Lipstick. Man, you have all those tricky things. Oh yeah. Yeah, bust a move. Bust a move. Let me see you bust a move. Dance! I just have trouble keeping up with them. But don't worry, I'll catch up to them. With off kilter in the background, the girls are over at Canada to get their signatures. And here they come. Breathless anticipation. You gonna get some signatures here? They said, yes we are. She's doing a fine job.
That's right, it's only around 12.30 or so, and Wendy's already out of gas. How do you, why do I say that? Espresso, coffee, and pastry. She said, give me a strong one. What? Five signatures to go? Five Who? Signatures. What do you need next? That's uh, Great Britain. No, no, you won't get Mexico next. You'll get that last. Because we're going around this way. Oh, off kilter, sing it. She says, hurry up and make it strong, please. Please make it strong. That chick is at her wit's end. Debbie, it's payback every day for Wendy. That's right, payback from when she was a kid. Man, that looked pretty strong, girl. She needs it. That's right, Debbie. Payback every day. There's Wendy. You you still have time to go into the pub. You need it. I'll be darned, it's good old Alice. From Alice in Wonderland. Over here at Great Britain. Looks like Belle's been using a little too much hairspray. <laughs> Smarties. Well, that's just what it looks like to me. This is Courtney's favorite character. Look at her, she's so happy. I see Michaela's there too. She, do you like Belle, Michaela? She said, I'm not sure, Big G. Go on up there, Mackenzie. That's good, thank you. Thank you very much. We got it. Did you give Belle a hug? There you go. Mackenzie's so happy she can't stand it. She says, I'm not only on cloud nine, I'm on sidewalk nine and hanging tight. Thank you. Ah, yes, now she's back to normal. The big boy, he finally made it. I'll tell you what, that beast is pretty big, he's saying. I love my bell. No, 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 it's a, it's a steak. But yeah, we'll take the girls through this Japanese garden and then the next pavilion is America. Hey, what'd you girls get? Yeah. Hey, you'll be able to go through the park. No, no, I don't mean the candy. I mean the mask. Now you can. Let me look at it. It's cool, but you can wear those masks and you won't scare anybody anymore. Let's go up the steps and go through this garden, okay?
The thing that uh, the water pours in and tilts it, tips it, you didn't find that? I think it's in here someplace. That's part of your scavenger hunt, I think. There it is, they found it. Courtney knew where it was. Does it, that is so awesome. I could sit here and watch that for hours. Couldn't you, Wendy? No. Neither could I. What do you mean, no? You old spoil sport. That's Mondo grass. That's the tree. Yeah, Courtney, that's this tree, not that grass. That grass is dwarf Mondo grass. That's Mackenzie's mask? She drew the face on it? Good job. I didn't draw a face. We made it. Hey, Wendy's getting hungry. You better catch up to her. She wants to go eat. Ah, yes, the good old American adventure. I hope they want to see the show in there because it's a good one. Hey, girl, where'd you get your hat? Where'd you get that? Wendy, is it time for a signing? Let's go, let's go back there to the, the American Adventure. Well, I guess they've had enough train action for the day. You gotta be kidding me. Hint, pick up one of those again. A sorry pickle is a Christmas ornament. I can't believe it. Courtney, did you think that was funny, a sorry pickle? Huh? That was kind of funny, wasn't it? I love any pickle jokes. Huh? No. Yes, it was. Jokes. You love pickle jokes? Yes. Well, that's the only one I have. <laughs> Once again, the kind of shoppers that Disney loves. They put their fingerprints all over everything and buy nothing. Are you girls buying anything? Or just looking? Beat on that puppy, beat it to death. Come on, let me hear some noise. Go, beat on it. Michaela, come on up here, girl. There they got the idea, now they're beating on it with the sticks. Hey, we'll see you. We'll see you at Canada. You you tie your shoe and catch up with us, okay? Huh? Is that okay? No? I think the girls are thinking about doing some fishing. Yep, the girls are getting this, their signatures in China. How do I know? I'll show you. Ah, yes, it's time to get some pictures, I mean, uh, signatures. Ah, it looks like they found some more of their group. Classmates. 
Man, that's a good looking jacket that Wendy's wearing. I need to get one just like it. Hey, come to think of it, maybe I do own one that's just like it. Courtney lost her paper. Now she's going to get zero percent. Oh, no. Courtney lost her paper? Courtney, did you lose your paper? Oh, man, that stinks. That girl's been going around diligently getting all her signatures and now she's lost her paper. You know what that would end up at? In the bottom of a toy box next week. Of course. All right, Kenzie, let's go see if we can get that ride. I can't believe it. That chick is so cheap. She told the girls to tie a string on their stuffed animals at home. I cannot believe it. And there they go on the mission space. Wendy's going to hurl her lunch. I was going to record you with your peeps, but uh, peeps, yeah. you walked away, so I, I couldn't. To go with me. Where'd you? I want to know where you got that hat. You didn't have that on earlier. I, I got this hat out of my purse. Okay, well, it's time to leave. Go she follow. Me, cause I'm still watching hey, game go go follow go follow Meanie in the yellow jacket. You notice the waterfalls going up instead of down. They have the whole sidewalk to walk on. But what do they do? Well, you see it. Somebody threw a beer and that's what that squirrel was trying to get? Oh, that's not good. Do you guys know where we're going? Yes. Back to the car. It's the end of Epcot. What do you mean you don't like Ariel? Everybody likes Michaela, Ariel. So let me see that again, Michaela. Come on, let me see it again. Oh, that's gross. Well, I'll tell you, this is it. The end of the trip to Epcot, and the girls are going to throw some money in the lake and make a wish. Michaela, you need to come over here, girl. All right, throw your money and make your wish. All right, this is where dreams come true. If you got the money, the dreams come true. Lay that coin out there. Did you make a wish, Courtney? Yeah. All right. Go ahead, throw that money. Make that wish. Ah, uh, the end of another fun-filled day at a Disney park. Did it? Good arm. Good arm. Okay, walk down. You lead on down the way. This is it. The end of our trip to Disney. All right, give her the test. What's the test? Bree thinks she's a hot whiz in uh, Disney and Disney characters. So, Bree, who are these two Disney characters? You have no idea. You have no idea? They're two of Disney's main characters. You really don't know. Put them up here so I can see who they are. There's a song about I'm bum 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 la 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 la. That's their theme song. You don't. Have you ever heard of? Come on, Bray, you got it now. This chick is handcuffed. I don't think. Hey, I don't think you know your characters. Not too long ago. HDF. I mean uh, HD. Yeah. It's... No. Pretty nice. I've got a new uh, uh, DVD in here. We can continue on with Breeze Disney Smackdown. <laughs> Breeze taking a Smackdown here in the old Christmas store. Okay, Bree. Now, let me set the stage. Bree, this is supposed to be her area of expertise, the princesses. Okay, name them. Who's that 
Did she get them all? She got them all. All right, Bree. It's about time. We, we asked her about that. She said, I only watch the princess movies. Chips? How can you not name Chip and Dale? Because she only watches the princess movies. They're the most famous Disney characters, especially because they have, they have their own calendar. That's right. Well, the chick was handcuffed. I'm pretty sure Bree has that calendar too in her room. She was still handcuffed. Look at her over there. She's trying to pretend like she's not listening. <laughs> This chick has her fingerprints on just about every item in Some this of them were store. Which one are you gonna get? Do you like that one better than the I do. The beautiful princesses? Those princesses are hot though. You sure you're gonna you sure you wanna dump the princesses? I think so. Alright, okay. Dump them for many. Yes, they continue to shop. No item is safe from the touch. I'm ready when you are. Oh, you're ready to make the transaction? Okay, let me turn this off. Drew found himself one whale of a decoration. I'm thinking of getting that for Todd. You think you're going to get that for Todd? That way he can wear it at the Home Depot. What, is he on box or just a Hey, hey, did you say he can wear that at Homo Depot? Yeah. That's what I thought you let's, said. Let's you just did. keep that between us. You're not telling me he'd fit right in, are you? <laughs> huh? Well, he might with that thing on. Yeah. Right, Bree? Right. Merry Christmas? Definitely at the Home Depot. You get, well, or some version thereof. Hard to believe it's almost Christmas. Oh my God. <laughs> they, they stand, they said they've never seen such a beautiful Christmas tree. Are you guys ready to go golf? Let's go do some golf and let's go have some real fun. This shopping village is absolutely jammed with people. You watched the special on how they made what? How they put all these trees together? Yeah. Those, they, they like bring them in on trucks like during the night and they yeah. just put them together. They just... Uh, it's pretty sweet. They, 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 they just... Uh, what they do is they, uh, they pull a tiger, don't they? Yeah. They erect it. <laughs> Are those hidden Mickey's? Hey, well, no, they're 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 overt Mickey's, but uh, I wanted to ask you: Does Todd still think this is the place on Disney property where they teach you how to fish? Uh, I'm pretty sure he does. He does. He's believed that since day one. That that you come over to casting if you want to learn how to fish. Yeah, he's he's still convinced. That that is flat out pathetic. Okay, let's head down to Fantasia Gardens and. Uh, put a beat down on Drew because she's going to, I mean on uh, Bree because she's going to be in trouble. This is a hard course. Look at that. We're going to play the fairways over at Fantasia Gardens. The boy's got to steady his nerves. He, know, he knows he's in for a rough one. I, I only play better when I drink. You, you, can, ask, you can ask Ryan Belts that. Loose, loosen you up, huh? Yeah. Do you, do you get some coin out of his pocket? Well, this is it. We finally decided to play the fairways. Drew, Bree, and me. And uh, this could be a little testy. Somebody should be up there to tee off in just a second. I have a feeling that this could be disastrous. Hey, you guys, remember, six-stroke limit, and if it goes off the fairway, that counts one. Hang on just a second. Okay, here's my man Drewby. <laughs> He's lining it up, checking for uh, wind. And how will the boy do? We may have to let people play through us. He addresses the ball, he strokes it. Well, it looked pretty good. Okay, here's Bree. 
She's getting ready to, she's addressing the ball. Uh oh. She found the rock. Man, you clobbered that thing. Maybe you should pull my satchel. Yeah, give me your satchel. Bree's in the rough. She managed to miss the fairway she, completely. <laughs> she's in the first cut. Now don't now don't hit it too hard there, girl, but let's that. see how she made out. Uh, she still has a little bit of work to do, fans. A little bit of work. Okay, Bree, go for it. Something tells me she hit that sucker way too hard. Something tells me she didn't listen to me at all. Okay, Drewby, you're up. I'm up? Yep. Oh my god, I didn't realize that they have uh, flags in each hole. Pins in the hole. Boy says, this sucks, I gotta take the pin out for myself. This is not going to be an easy course at all. That boy's got some serious work left to do. Your turn? No, it's your turn, Bree, but you don't want to hit it real hard because these greens are very, very fast. Wow! Oh, that would have gone in. A classic example of a rim job. You got that right. Okay, you're up, boy. I didn't even touch it. These greens are lightning fast. Well, there goes my chance at the course record. Yeah, your chance at the course record. <laughs> that went down the that went down the tubes when I bought the ticket. Well, it only took us 10 minutes to play the first hole, and Bree already is getting her money's worth. Where is that girl? Come on, walk in front of me, girl. She's already getting her money's worth here on this course. As we move along to hole number two, which is, what's the name? Chernabog's Revenge. Bree, who is Chernabog? The spirit, the evil devil on uh, Bald Mountain. Night on Bald Mountain from Fantasia. Chernabog. Looks like that boy chopped some stone. He still has quite a way to go up to that green. Let's let's see how Bree does. She hit something too. She's in the rough again. She's in the rough again. Well, it's up to G. Drew said it was coming my way, but I don't think I have to worry about it. I have some serious work. You do. How about Bree? It's your shot there, girl. It's still your shot. That chick is getting her money's worth. Do you believe it? That's her ball sitting up on top of the hill. Oh, by the way, that's my tee shot. Not too bad, right? Oh, man. This course is a tester. Is it fun, Bree? Drew? Oh, where's he putting from? Hey! I thought that was penalty. Well, it's just as good as a pedal. <laughs> did you go in? I shouldn't have asked did he go in. He's hitting... Uh... This boy is taking some solid lumps. Okay, Bree, it is your shot, girl. Now, don't hit it too hard. There, you're getting the idea. That was beautiful. She almost got on the green, my man. You too? 
What happened to you? I don't think the boy's too happy here on hole number three. The pastoral simplicity. Oh, it's a dog leg right. Par seven. Well, I took the limit on hole three. I know these guys have been pounding that ball all over the fairways and green. Not me, that was my third shot. That was only your third? Yeah, remember I got it there the first time. Well, you did great. I got the limit. Is Drew going to put us to shame? I mean, is uh, Bree going to put us to shame? I think she might. I think she did. I hate to say it, my man, but I had a six. I hate to say it too. I'm, I'm in dead last. I just got another six. This course is not easy, is it? I'll tell you what. Not even Tiger Woods or Cheetah Woods could cheat as good as play on this. Course. You got that right. Cheetah could not do anything. Thank you. Now, what you do, Bree? I've been showing you how to do that, and I've been recording. On there, is it recording? Huh? Mm -hmm. Let me is see. It, is it recording? Let me see. Okay. Gary Simpson here, par four, 83 foot, the Nutcracker. The pressure. A precise is and well aimed first shot will make this Nutcracker sweet. Gary Simpson in his backswing, hard swing. Ooh, it bounces in the rough and goes outside into the fairways. The fairways the downtown. Way, just the way Maybe I mean, he could be on the green. Just the way I played that sucker. <laughs> now when you stop it. Gary. Drewby just asked me what the rule is on his balls lie after the uh, tee shot. Uh, that's a drop and a one stroke penalty. But since we're not playing for blood. You know what? No, no, no. Hold on. He's going to see if he can move the rock. Why, that dirty dog. Okay, we'll watch him stroke it and then we'll find out where it winds up. And there it is on the very edge of the green. And, a, and now it's come settled in. Now, Bree's going to hit her shot. Go ahead, Bree. Wait. Now, as you can see, G's got himself a tough uh, recovery. Come on, Bree, hit it in the hole. Okay, Bree, go for it, girl. Brianna Castellanova. This is for Birdie. She winds up the shot, and it is. Ooh, that thing's going to be traveling from now till tomorrow morning. Oh, no luck, Bree. Brianna Castellanova looks at a 20 foot putt. There's Drew Constantine's ball. Gary Simpson here, found himself into the rock trap. Not only that, I gotta go up this huge mound. He's got a rough lie here. Huge undulation. Before I, uh, before I uh, go, I gotta have a drink. Uh-oh, somebody's coming up behind us. They're on hole number one. They'll never catch up. Okay, Gary Simpson, sponsored by Coke. Here he goes, from the rock trap. In his back swing. Ball going, ball going. Could it stop? Stay on. Looks like it's going to roll back a little bit. And what a magnificent shot by G.L. Gary Simpson. I got to admit, I scare myself. What a recovery after that terrible hole I just had. PR I'm is at it again. PR is out and a bout. <laughs> Brianna Castellanova from the poop trap. The wind up and the swing. And. And it looks like a little frustration here. Oh, and she knocks Gary's ball. A little closer. But look at Bree's ball. Six inches from the pin. Brianna, what do you have to say about that shot? Ow. Brianna, why don't you tap that in? Here, give me Incredible. that. You're going to get seasick watching it. Did you stop it? Not yet. <laughs> so you're on. That's all right, just move my ball out of the way. Just move it closer.
I think that boy could probably kick that one in. What'd you get on this hole, girl? You got a four? Well, a five? Or I'm putting for a three. This hole's hard to believe. 101 foot par four. Drew's addressing the ball and getting ready to stroke. I'm waiting to see where it goes. And there it is. There goes Bree. Four. Man, that that air felt good. Oh, she hit it pretty good. Oh, she's in the sand trap. Yep. But it's a trap. Well, Renee called me. I'm going to call her back and see if she wants to join us for dinner. I'm on the phone. I'm calling Putt right now, seeing if he wants to join us for dinner. I'm sure he'd love to. Oh, oh by the way, I, I was recording this too because I wanted everybody to know that this is a par four and I got a two on it. it par three. Oh, then I only got a bird. I thought I got an eagle. Chirp, chirp. Oh man, deflate me. That's terrible. Oh, this is definitely a reachable par three. I should get a hole in one on this hole. I wonder how many people get holes in ones on this. All right, we got Drew on the tree. I'm out here, I mean on the tee. I'm out here on the fairway. See how the boy can do. He's going left-handed. He's pulling the tigger on us. And now we'll see where he winds up. Ah, he's still got a little distance to the hole. And Bree said, I better watch out. We got flying fingers on the tee. Let's see how she does. Wow. Oh, oh, man, did that hurt? Man, I'm going to be calling my lawyer. Go for it, Drew. He's trying to hit my ball, my tee shot away from the hole. That's right. That's my tee shot. A gimme two. Or I might just purposely miss my next shot to knock yours out. This girl can hardly wait. She's putting for a two, believe it or not. She barely touches it. Well, I thought, oh, oh, looks like she got a little bit of help. She got a lot of help. Ah, uh, there's that fine looking tee shot, that yellow ball. Hey, Bri, why don't you go ahead and knock yours in? Yeah, knock mine in too. There you go. <laughs> uh, so I can put it in from there. Hey, that's not, this isn't croquet. You can't be knocking my ball away. The boy was trying to knock my ball away with his. He thought he'd get a, uh, what, what is it? What is it when you do croquet and what is it when you hit the ball away? I don't know. This is a gimme for you, though. You know it. Another two. We can't play this hole till you give us the uh, half round scores. Oh, uh, you want those? Well, sure. We got to have half round scores. Know how we did on the first nine. You want half round scores, Three don't you? Has a score of 14 19 uh oh this is gonna fill up before he gives me the score 34 34 Gary has six, 34 Wow Bree and I tied okay the other video filled up so we didn't get Drewby's score, which happens to be 34. So the first nine holes at the fairways, Bree 34, Gary 34, and Drew 34. So it's going to be dog eat dog on the back nine, of which I'm not going to video because I need to concentrate. Doing it doggy style. Plus, baby. yeah, plus uh, I've got plenty of video of this uh, of this match. So what I'll do is I'll video the final scores. Final how's that? Scores. How's that sound? Yep, Fantasia the Fairways. And even though this is a tough course, it sure is pretty. And it is tough. Look at all those undulations out there. And there's Drew's ball. The thing of it is, is, hey, oh, good shot, Drew. That boy's up on the green. 
The thing of it is, is when you hit a ball here, you have no idea where it's going. That's a gimme eagle, baby. Par four. Par four? Gimme eagle. Let's see what this girl does. Not too bad. Okay, Drewby's inside making us wait while, uh, man, those are some ugly looking toes. Who does your toes, girl? I do. Huh? I Who do. does your toes? I could tell that was not a professional job. Anyway, Drew's making us suffer, right? Before we get the scores. You say what? You think you beat me? Yeah. You may have. You may have. But if you did, that means you have to buy tonight. Okay, here we go. The final scores. What's, what's, what's the tally there, my man? I've added up the scores. Yes. After some hard, tedious punching in my calculator. Yes. I've calculated that in third place with a score of 66 is Gary. No, that can't be. I didn't take enough mulligans. In second place with a score of 65 is Bree. You cheated, girl. You cheated. And in first place with a score of 61. I, I know you definitely cheated. I did. Gary? Mick, yeah. As a, a, a congratulatory uh, present to Bree, yeah. I'm going to now give her. Hey, I wanted to be able to get the presentation. As a congratulatory uh, sign of gesture to. Yeah. Uh, Brianna here for coming in second place for the first time ever in anything she didn't get last. I'm going to give her the score scorecard, the pencil, and a limited edition Mickey golf ball. Hey, she can use that pencil in her math class. Can't you? Congratulations. Ya? Congratu All the winners, and we'll see you next year. Next year. Yes, we're going back to the marketplace to eat at T-Rex, and here's the old panoramic view of one of Todd's favorite buildings here on on property. It was about 84 degrees this afternoon and I'm still wet from sweating from that miniature golf. We're gonna enjoy. All right, here we are at the old marketplace. It's old. Buena Vista Drive. 